So Desert Island, only five AI tools, the top five AI tools for language teachers. How would you rate them? Yeah, okay. So, I mean, I would always be looking at it now because, see, my whole philosophy was is that really the types of technologies we should be introducing into the classroom should try to have an impact on students and on their autonomy. So what I mean by that is that I'll select and use technologies that I know my students could then go off and use on their own. OK, for me, that's a priority because I see language learning really takes place outside of the classroom, not inside the class. Teacher can have a big impact. I have two lessons a week in Polish, but really I learn languages because of all the extra work that I do outside of the classroom, not with, because of my teacher. So uh, those my choices would be very much dictated by that. So natural readers would definitely be up there. Uh, incredible tool because you can take any text, paste it in, choose the language, and it will read that text out in native-like accents. Perfect for pronunciation. Perfect if you like to read and listen at the same time. Absolutely brilliant tool. Great if you've got, say, a specific set of words or sentences that you're struggling with the pronunciation, put them in. You've got South African English, Australian English, English English, American English. Absolutely brilliant tool. It also works in other languages. Number two, I guess, would be TurboScribed. TurboScribe is a tool that will allow you to take any video from YouTube, place it in, and it will dr- pull out the transcript. But the brilliant thing is then you can immediately link it to tools like ChatGPT, and you can say, right now, can you give me a summary of the transcript? Or can you select 15 key words to study from the transcript? Or, yeah, so you can use, or can you generate for me 10 comprehension questions based on the transcript? And also you can use then the transcript afterwards, because not only does it Give you extract the transcript and it does a better job than YouTube. It's really, really high quality. Uh, it extracts the transcript, but it also allows you then to edit and copy that transcript. OK, so you've got it in front of you and it downloads the audio. So, OK, you haven't got the video now, but you've got the audio and the transcript in front of you. And then what I can do is I can play the, you know, play it through again and stop at any point where there's a word that I don't know and quickly look it up in the dictionary from, say, Polish into English and then carry on. And that way I can conquer videos and content that generally is a little bit above my level. And I'm a great believer in kind of, you know, this sort of idea of the zone of proximal development and, and, and the work of Vygotsky and that kind of idea, or even, you know, what Krashen's talking about when he's talking about sort of L2. So I very much yeah. like TurboScribe because I think it facilitates that and it facilitates that ability to really push on on with, with language learning. Um, number three tool, I mean, I guess for me, if is something that I use all the time is Google Translate. Google Translate is massively under underestimated what it can do. It's really useful technology. One of the most thing, useful things about Google Translate is that let's say again with TurboScribe, you're going through the transcript after you've extracted it from extracted it from a video, and then you've got a few sentences. Okay, you can select that sentence and you can put it into Google Translate and see what the translation into English. English is and then you can click on the save button and it will save and collect together all the phrases that you currently want to learn now the magic of google translate is that there's a magic button on it and if you click on that magic button it will then allow you to copy all of those sentences straight into quizlet or straight into wordwall and turn them into games so i can go from listening to a youtube video to extracting that and analyzing it on TurboScribe and studying the words, to taking the words that I've I've extracted and putting them into Google Translate and then putting them into a game like Quizlet or Wordwall, literally just with a few clicks of a button, which is literally what I do every day when I'm studying Polish. And it, that is so powerful. And what I'll often do then is go back the next day and watch the same video again. So I'm sort of kind of in a circle of digging in more and more into the video until I really understand it well. So those tools worked really well together. Um, definitely for me, even as a student, it's worth having WordWall. You can make your own exercises. I use WordWall probably every day for studying. Uh, the variety of activities that are in there are really, really useful to me. Um, and I suppose really, if I was to talk about a fifth one, it would be YouTube. Um, YouTube is so useful. Uh, learning to search on YouTube and to f- learn to filter and to be able to filter for specific videos that say a specific length and to look for the for the transcripts because there's also a way of searching for videos that only have transcripts. There are lots of little tricks that you can do with YouTube, in tr- in, including controlling the speed 
feed of the videos. So I guess those are with natural readers, turbo scribed, Google Translate, Word Wall, and YouTube would be my top five. Excellent.